Today we're going to talk about end behavior and the leading coefficient test. First, let's talk about end behavior. So end behavior. So end behavior just describes what happens to the far left or far right of a function. For example, if you have a function that does this, then in this case you would say it falls left and falls right. If you had a function that did this, in this case you would say it rises left and rises right. Then obviously you could have something like this. In this case the answer would be falls left and rises right. And I guess the last case would be something like this. In this case you would say rises left and falls right. So in the first case, um, the function falls to the left and falls to the right. Second case, it rises left, rises right. Third case, it falls left, rises right. And then the last case, it rises left and falls right. So what's going to happen is in the problems, you'll be given a polynomial, and you'll have to figure out uh, which one of these behaviors the polynomial exhibits. So to do that, there's something called the leading coefficient test. So leading coefficient test. And I guess you're supposed to memorize like all four cases, but instead of actually memorizing the test, it's better just to think about uh, familiar functions. So let's go through um, four examples so you see how this works. Let's go through four different examples. So example, Example, let's go through all four cases. Example, example. Let's do all four at once. Boom. All right, say we had f of x equals um, 2x to the fourth plus x. Then over here we have f of x equals negative 3x to the sixth plus 4. Then here we'll have f of x equals 4x cubed plus x. And then here we'll have f of x equals negative 3x to the 7th plus 2. So we have four different functions. And the question will be to find the end behavior. So our, our answers are going to look like the ones up here. So rather than memorizing the test, what you can do is every time you see a problem, um, you just look at for a few things. So first, you look at the degree. So in this case, the degree is even, right, because 4 is an even number. So we have even degree, and the leading coefficient is 2. So we have a positive, I'll put P-O-S, L-C, leading coefficient. That's a cursive L. <laughs> so even degree, positive leading coefficient. So then to answer the question, what you can do is you can think of the simplest function you know that has even degree and positive leading coefficient. So the simplest function we can think of that has those properties would be y equals x squared. And that's a parabola. It looks like a u. So in this case, the answer to the question would be rises left and rises right. So whenever you have something with even degree and positive leading coefficient, just memorize this graph. And then the end behavior of this graph is the same as the end behavior of your function. Obviously, another way to do it would be to put this in your calculator and hit the graph button. Okay. That could take more work, though, depending on how, how complicated this is. Let's try this one. So this one over here, again, we have, looks like, even degree. Even degree. And then this time we have a negative leading coefficient, so negative LC. So the simplest function we can think of that has even degree and negative leading coefficient might be negative x squared. So that's an upside down parabola, right? Upside down. So in this case, the answer would be falls left, falls right. So the other way to do it, these problems, would be to just memorize the stuff, right? Like, okay, even degree, positive leading coefficient. That's the answer. Even degree, negative leading coefficient, that's the answer. That's fine. You can do that. The problem with that is that like, once you're, once you're done doing this stuff, you'll forget it. 
Whereas if you memorize these functions, if you memorize these pictures, not only do you know the leading coefficient test, but like you know what these functions look like. So this is way more useful for like for math. How about this one here? This one looks like we have an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient. So odd degree, positive leading coefficient. So the simplest example maybe is, well, you can do y equals x or you can do x cubed. I'll do x cubed. y equals x cubed looks like this. So the answer here would be falls left, rises right. So falls left, rises right. That would be the end behavior of our polynomial function. And the last case uh, is odd degree, negative leading coefficient. So we have uh, odd degree, negative leading coefficient. So in this case, the simplest function maybe is y equals negative x cubed. And that's basically this one here, flipped. So it looks something like this. This rises left, rises left, and then uh, falls right, falls right. So that's all four possible cases. So those are the four possible cases you see. So um, if you just memorize what these basic functions look like, so x squared, negative x squared, x cubed, negative x cubed, um, you can get the answer to, to all of these questions. So I hope that made sense.